Hello everyone, GL1 here and welcome back to my online toy museum and today I'm going to talk about more bumblebees. I have a, a pretty vast collection of bumblebee toys and the story of bumblebee is pretty complicated in terms of the toys. So if you'll remember last time I showed you that limited edition golden battle ops bumblebee right over here and there was a little golden bumblebee toy that came with that and here is its form in robot form and you can see you know there's the head and then you could see the knees just like the other bumblebee and then you could see that turns into a golden camaro very simple transformation these just rotate around tuck under this just pegs in right here and then you just push that and there you go there you have your Camaro all right your little golden Camaro but of course that's not where we're going to stop so there's like I said many bumblebees and I thought in this episode I would limit myself to the ones that are very similar to the movie uh, and very similar to each other and the golden battle ops bumblebee so we'll start with this large one here all right so you could see this bumblebee here uh looks very similar to the golden one it's got a similar head and in also it has the battle helmet that also can lower and let me just push that down and see there we go. And then that just lowers over his face. Now he doesn't talk like the other one when you lower it. So it just lowers in place. All right, like that. And, uh, you know, you can see that it has this, uh, like, dagger attached to his arm. And on the Golden Ops one, it doesn't detach, but it's the same. You can see the same piece there. And on the Golden Ops one, you know, you have this gun here, remember? Like that right and then you know he's got a gun here on there and you can see you know it's it's similar in design and you have uh, you know the same with the doors that look like wings I believe I misspoke in the last episode and I said guns um, I don't know how that happens but it's amazing that it does after I watch that stuff all right and you can see so the knees are very similar right all right and all the the foot Attack, uh, design and even here in the back it's also similar all right so the feet all right so that's the similarities but the difference is instead of you know this one right makes all kinds of sound you push the button down and he talks well this one comes with this big piece here and so this does a couple things. Now, when he's in robot form, it can peg into the back here. So this this pushes in and snaps there. And then this fits into there. The only problem is it's kind of heavy, and it does tend to make him fall backwards. And that's got to click in. Let's see if we can get this thing to work right. And then you, you pretty much even have to make him lean forward. So the weight, so it doesn't fall backwards. And he's got the ratchet joints too. So he can't do a whole lot of uh, different body positions with this thing on. And it does make, it does light up and it keeps falling out of place. Uh, let's see how that. So if you want this to make any firing noise, you push on that there. And then that makes a blasting noise. All right, but in order to get it to make the blasting noise, there's another step you have to go through. So if you move this lever here on the back, all right, it makes the transforming sound, all right? And then this goes back. So if you have it in this form, it doesn't do anything, all right? And if you were to put it on his back and then just push this up and go and have it like this, 
it also doesn't do anything. So see, you can actually apply it to the figure's back. It'll stay on there. And you see, then it doesn't make a blasting sound. In order to get it to do the blasting, you have to pull this forward, get the other blasters forward, then turn those, all right, and then when you have it locked in, and I presumably, you're gonna have to get these doors out of the way. All right, so like that, all right. And then you have everything. Okay, so you have them like that. So it's similar to the blasters that are on the golden bumblebee. And then you push that back. But now you don't get those lighting up, obviously. Okay, so those are only going to light up when you have it in the car form and you have it like this. And this will snap onto the when it's in vehicle mode. Oh, okay, those still don't light up. All right, well, when you there, when you first transform it, all right, so oh no, I see. Okay, well, wait, there you go. Oh, okay. You know, it's trying to remember all the different things these... All right, so, all right, so if you go like that, and then you put it in the bumblebee, snap them on there, right? There we go. Okay. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right. So, um, and this one, I actually saw this still available for about $45. So you can still get him. All right, well, then there's the smaller ones. So let me show you those here. And again, if I show you real quick, you could see that it's a similar design to the Golden Bumblebee. All right, so you have the grill, it's very similar. And in fact, you see how the grill on the Golden Bumblebee, this piece here, and I, I neglected to show you this last time, you pull that out it actually is like spring-loaded, and then that snaps in. Okay, you see that? So in order to get that to position right, you pull that out, and then you turn it. It always feels like you're going to break it. That's, uh, that's what's stressful about this. There you go, and then that clicks, and then that stays. So the smaller ones also have that you know, not quite exactly the same, but you can see it's kind of offset on his chest there. All right, so you can see also that the uh, arms are similar. Uh, however, I got to tell you something about that. You can see again down in here and the hips and the legs and the feet, all similar to the golden bumblebee, even where the fenders uh, are, how those flip up over the hips, and then you have the rear of the car there and just see that's also like the golden bumblebee so very consistent in the transformation uh, however this one was missing an arm and uh, I had to add this arm to it it's supposed to have two of these and you can see how this has the door piece on and I'm missing the door here well I got this from a secondhand store as there was a great secondhand store near me that had lots of transformers early on when it opened, and they were really inexpensive uh, there and a lot of great deals. But this one was missing an arm, and I had to wait and go back often. Uh, I'm very patient, and sometimes it's just fun to hunt for things. And eventually, I found a broken version of this one here, and I just reused the arm to give this an arm. But this is not the same as this one, so I will transform this one. If you remember the Golden Bumblebee when it was in uh, auto form, this is what it looked like. Even down to these, this detail there, very, you know, it's pretty much the same transformation. So it transforms into, you know, a great uh, looking Camaro, 2010 Camaro. And then this one here also, you can see, again, you see a lot of the same cues, uh, the same way it's put together is the Golden Bumblebee. 
However, you can see there's a little more detail on the eyes. It's got the blue lit up eyes. You can see that the head is different. It's larger. And probably this is more realistic, the scale of the bumblebee. You can see even the front detailing is different. A little bit the, um, the spoiler at the bottom is uh, different than the one here. And it's got the double lights for the, uh, like the fog lights where this just has a single. So it's different, um, you know, the different parts in that way. But this also has, and both of them have this, they have, they were experimenting with these self-transforming parts. So the feet, the way they transform, and let's see if I can get this to work right. It, it did sort of like when you, when you move one thing, the whole thing would just go right into place very easily, like that. And that was the whole idea, is that everything would just sort of ratchet right into place. There's, there's even other ones that they got more sophisticated where it was spring-loaded. So the legs were kind of spring-loaded and they kind of fold back in. Um, all right, so you can see this one has the door pieces. This one also has a firing missile. And this, comes, this whole assembly comes off. And uh, you can push, though, a button on here. Let's see where that button is. Ah, it's on the side here. And uh, if I'm, I think that's it. Uh, where is that button? Nope, looks like I find it and then I can't find it again. So the button is in the back here. You see that red part? Push that and then that fires the missile. So very easy to lose this. See that again? Okay, push that back. Very easy to lose this missile, very easy to lose this piece, and it does fall off quite often. And then it just slides in there, and it, it it's not a very strong coupling, this little coupling piece there, but that's, that's how it's designed. All right, so then, as you can see, here is another bumblebee, and this one has all kinds of, you know, making it very obvious that this is a transformer, although it has a symbol, an Autobot symbol right there and real big there. So this is more like your kind of your NASCAR version of Bumblebee. And is it different underneath? Let's see. Yeah, again, another, a different head. Um, different the way that the arms fold in and the body. So... I'm going to transform these. So here they are. You can see the front grill is different. All right. And so I'm going to transform these and we're going to take a look at uh, the difference. First thing I want to show you is that when you open the doors, you have seats in there. So, and that would be your first step in transforming this. And then that just kind of all comes apart there. All right, and then there's, see how easily this folds apart here. And then you have a leg. All right, well, I'm going to transform this. All right, so this is how this one transforms. And you can see very angry looking war face right and it's got like red eyes underneath here and then he has gatling guns that appear up uh, that fold up underneath this hood piece all right and the front grill sits down on there similar feet and legs to the others as you can see that's you know really the same same design on that but then the body is very different. And the way the whole the head folds out is also different than the others. Different head as well. And then you can see the door pieces are not attached to the arm. See how it is attached, but it is not in this case. So, uh, or part of the, well, it's really sort of, yeah, it's like the rear part of the door fender there. All right. So that's how this one transforms. Now I'm going to transform this one. And uh, the first thing that I noticed is when you open the doors, no seats inside. So see that? 
So it's going to be a different transformation. And let's see, the wheels are even different. See that? These are a little bit, the uh, black wheels are a little larger and a different design. So I'm going to transform that and we'll take a look and compare all of these together. All right, so now this one's transformed. And this one definitely is different than the others. Um, it has some of that spring-loaded transforming parts. Uh, back down here in the leg, you can see that there's a spring right in here. Okay, see there's a spring. And this is on a spring. This window is on a spring. So that was something that when you're transforming it, you have to hold that in because it's it's on a spring as you're transforming it um, in order to get it out of the way. So that's different. Um, the other thing that is different is it has a torso joint in here and the others don't have that, so he can turn. And it has gears. Eh, let's see if we can see those. Ah, here we go. There's some gears back here. All right, and that's also part of kind of the automatic transformation of how the head pops up and the front grille comes down. So that's all, you can see there's a spring in there. So that's all kind of one big movement and as far as a weapon it comes with his own weapon here and this is also a, a spring-loaded weapon and let's see how this thing works been a while since i've played with this so it's a gun right so he can hold on to it as a gun and that will fit into his hand yeah like that, and then you can pull that open, and then it becomes an Energon blade. So, all right, so Energon blade, and then that folds together and becomes like the big gun that you see on, you know, the golden version uh, of Bumblebee and the others, you know, that have a gun. But I think the blade is pretty cool at that you can just, and then it's sort of, it, it's even on a gear. You can see these gears in here, so and it pushes it forward. So watch that. You can see it. So it actually extends it out. All right. So pretty neat bumblebee. And you can see, again, transformation is different. Torso is different. Legs similar, um, but different head, right? And then you can see that that's also a different head, right? So quite a bit of difference in all of these, and yet they all transform into looking uh, like the same Camaro and all the same scale. So I have more bumblebees, as I've indicated, to show you. I have some really, really neat ones, uh, just a lot more to come. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, I don't know, this might be my favorite of the small ones. So I look forward to showing you that. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do is before I go, I'm going to transform this bigger one here into the car and show you how that looks. So I'll take care of that. Okay, so what can only be described as a ridiculous amount of time. I was able to transform this... <sighs> poorly but mostly back into its vehicle form and here you go you know you like that and then there you go and then it's all firing and there's your blasters all right all i can tell you is if you get this vehicle or have this vehicle keep the manual handy it is very, very difficult to transform to get the arms folded up underneath. And uh, I think I got it mostly right, but it is a real challenge. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It was certainly fun reacquainting myself with these bumblebees. And I'll be back with more exciting bumblebees. 
All right, and take care and talk to you soon.